it's the Geeky Minecrafter here, and it occurred to me, we just finished the tree farm, and it occurred to me that for episode 9, what I really should do is focus more on some of the housekeeping and mining activities that I that I normally do off camera. I mean, you know, I, I invite you back into the, the mine shaft here, and uh, everything looks different. I've, I've done some remodeling, or I've started a new mine, or my crops are growing, or, you know, I always have food in my food bar. And it occurs to me that this is a let's play, so you really need to see all aspects of mining. Um, and housekeeping. This is, after all, Minecraft, and mining is a part of that. So is keeping the body fed, and that involves um, making sure that, you know, I'm, I tend to my, my crops, uh, so pretty much every time I come through, if I've got a few minutes, I will, you know, walk through here and uh, just pick all this stuff up and then replant. So let me just do that. Let me show you what, what it is. I just walk through here and get it all. Now, I've got carrots for the pigs, potatoes that I bake in the furnace for me. Uh, and they're not as good as steak, but, you know, who doesn't love a baked potato? Come on. And then, of course, wheat for the for the cows and the sheep. I also can bake bread with the wheat, and that, uh, that'll go a long way to keeping you strong, too. I also have two pumpkins that I just, you know, I mine these out every time I come through. And I don't have to do anything. They'll grow again right there. Now, the rest of these I do have to replant. I have to put down the potatoes and the carrots. Uh, and the seeds. Where did I see the seeds? Here we go. I really need to clean out my hot bar. So these are the potatoes. So you just lay these down. And again, you know, if I, I'm sure you know how to do this. I, I mentioned this only for the, the absolute newbie. I'm using the right mouse uh, key to put the food down. And if you jump on till dirt, you know that that will until it and it will no longer grow, so don't be jumping on it. You need to walk. Uh, and then carrots and potatoes both, if you have any kind of hunger going on, holding down the right shift will uh, cause you to eat it too. So you want to make sure that you're well and, well and truly fed before you come in here and start trying to harvest all this. Okay. So there's the last of the wheat. Here, let's go pick all this up. Sorry, this makes me a little dizzy too. I apologize if I'm going too fast. So one thing I did know uh, or did learn, and I and I've proven it uh, on YouTube. I saw a video that says you basically just need to make sure you only har uh, plant wheat every other row, that there needs to be a tilled row in between these two. And if you do that, the wheat will grow twice as fast. And while that's true, and I, I've proven it to be true in my own internal little farm, um, I don't care how fast it grows. I've got more food than I know what to do with. Uh, I'm just one person. It's not like I'm trying to feed a server here. So uh, I let it grow until everything is ready to harvest, and then I come through and harvest it all at one time. So if you are down on time, if you need it to, to grow faster, feel free to use the every other row method. Here, let's put this in here. I just made a new diamond hoe. Um, let's put the rest of the seeds up. I did find some uh, saplings in one of my chests, uh, so I'm going to go outside and plant those. I am going to take the wheat and the corn, I'm sorry, the wheat and the carrot, outside so that I can feed my other animals and, and get them breeding. Um, now I did pick up some potatoes so I am going to throw these in the furnace while I'm gone. Uh, let those be baking. Okay, let's see. Do I have everything I need? Looks like I do. Okay, so let's go outside. Let's do a little more of our you know, animal husbandry, a little more of our um, housekeeping stuff. So I'm going to shoot on over here. W one thing I did off camera uh, was I, I had a couple of dark sapling, dark oak saplings that I planted over there, um, and actually all around the perimeter of the property. I went through and, and planted all those. So let's go see about, yep, we got some cows in here. So need some steak for the house. Let's go ahead and knock these guys down. 
if you'll remember from a previous episode, this is supposed to be automated, and Tango Tech, if you have any idea what I've done wrong, if you've watched the video, if you know, uh, I, I would just love it if you would tell me what I did wrong. Uh, so let's go get these. Why is that not falling? Well, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on and get some more babies going. There's one group, there's the other group. And again, I just, I, you know, every time I'm out here, I walk by and I do this. I let it accumulate. Um, I did take the cows out of this pen. I'm preparing to make this a storage area. Uh, I'm not, not quite ready to do that. The tree farm interrupted. So it looks like we've got everybody there that we're going to get. So these guys are just going to accumulate. I'm going to let... Uh, let them, let's see, will that, yeah, it will, cool. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of steak. I'll probably go in and put that on the uh, furnace inside uh, before we go down to the mine. So something else, um, oh, they are happy. Something else I did off camera was um, <laughs> I have dyed some of my sheep. They are having babies that are, uh, you know, when a blue one and a white one get together, I get this light blue cow uh, sheep so that's okay I don't care I want some all different kinds of uh, carpet um, I'm learning some stuff about carpet and how that can be used as kind of a, a hidden door or a, a way to keep mobs from coming in the door is always open to me but um, mobs won't uh, won't step across a hole with you know that's covered by carpet let's see if I have any more here oh hello cow Go away. <laughs> uh, he looks like he's following me. Okay, do we have anybody in here that still needs... Yeah, okay, so they're making a whole bunch of babies, and that's cool. Um, again, I love having the sheep in here. Let's leave this off here. Uh, see, do I have anything left on these shears? Uh, again, just as a part of my normal housekeeping, I will come out here and, you know, shear some sheep, pick it up, put it in the uh, chest inside. I'm just right now collecting resources. I want to build a big base. Uh-oh. Yep, just killed my my shears. It's a good thing I have a spare pair. Oh, I probably need to make another pair. I really went through quite a few of them um, with the, the tree project. Uh, you know, you can use shears on your tree branches and it will collect a block that you can use as scaffolding which is what I did. I scaffolded up, I put blocks on top of the um, tree or, or limb blocks you can walk on them, I mean it's completely safe. Now it will it will decay over time if it's not connected to a piece of wood so as long as it's connected they'll stay up there so I use them as decoration blocks, I use them as hedges um, you can use them as uh, any number of things. Now it looks like I've got some wool down here. It looks like we're getting it's getting ready to get dark. So let's put this stuff up. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have time to get down to the piggies. Well, you know what? This is Minecraft. Come on, you you got to be ready for anything that happens. So let's just make our way down to the pigs. We'll go ahead and. Uh, this little cow, look at him. Let's just look around, make sure this is not really a bad idea. I hate walking through the forest at night. When I was working on the tree farm, the, the number of mobs that came up while I was down there working was just horrific. Um, if I fell off, man, I had to run for base fast because uh, there would be 15 or 20 of them right there on me. So let's get right up here. Come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. Come close. Okay. Everybody get some loving. Come on. Okay. That looks like everybody. 
I'm gonna leave the uh, chickens on their own. I'm I got a plan for a chicken farm, but it's not yet. Uh, it's coming soon. So, oh look, I've got a. Oh yep, there's a spider. And looks like a zombie. Is that a zombie? Yes, you are a zombie. Oh, let him get too close. Okay, and I, I am getting some mobs coming up out of this mine. Uh, so I really need to put that door back on there. Uh, let's get in here and take a little short snooze. Okay, so that's it for animal husbandry. Um, basically, we've done what we need to do outside. Now let me let me take some of this over here. I do have a chest just for food and, and for stuff that we're doing outside. So I am going to lay this off. Now it was dark, so I didn't plant any of these. Uh, I am going to put these eggs up, and I'm going to throw these steak uh, in the in the burner. All the other organics I'm going to go ahead and put up for right now. Uh, these are things you can use as decorations. These are trees that I want to plant. Ooh, I should have left those outside. Uh, I do have... Oh, I missed some eggs, didn't I? So, let's go ahead and go throw some more steak in the oven. I should have... I do. I'm not in any hurry. Again, I've, I've got cooking more than I can possibly eat. So, I'm just... Uh, just keep it going. I try to keep those furnaces going at any... You know, all the time. I am going to carry... Because I am going down to mine. I'm going to carry some steak and, and pork chop with me. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up carry this for making any tools that I need. Now I, I left the I brought the wool in, I shouldn't have. Oh good grief. Uh, these are organics. Yeah, this will work. I'll move them later, but this is uh, wool that I can turn into carpet. Carpet I can put over a hole and it'll keep the mobs from crossing it. Now with the exception of a spider. A spider, uh, if a spider does a jump attack, it will cross that boundary. Um, so it, you're not I completely immune, but any other mobs, uh, they they won't cross a hole. Their 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 AI says, "Ooh, there's you know there's nothing there." And one thing I did do, I spent all the levels uh, that I that I had enchanting. Let me tell you a quick secret. I have a gold chest plate, which gold reacts better to enchantment. So one thing I've learned is that if I put this in and then I put gold in, I, I stand a better chance of getting a better um, enchant. So take that out and then put in what you want to enchant. Uh, wow, well, this is a, this was a bad choice, and I, I've enchanted everything else. Well, except my axe. Let's see what we get on my axe. So I can get efficiency four. Gosh, if I had a thirty. I could get an efficiency four on my axe. That would make harvesting that wood incredibly fast. So I need I need some more levels, which means I need to go down into the mine and spend a little time raising my levels. So let's let's go do that. I should probably go do the new mine. <laughs> but one thing I discovered, I started it and almost immediately, I, I would say within about ten levels, I hit a cavern. And I think this cavern goes back quite a ways. I've seen evidence of it under the lake um, out in front of the house. So uh, there's an awful lot of um, mobs that are down there. I think there's probably a spawner down there. Um, so this is, uh, this is my mind. Doing this, getting a hole drilled all the way up to daylight, will get rid of what they call um, mine fog or... or you know, void fog. So one of the things I've done is pull that all down and that keeps things looking uh, pretty good. Now, I do have a cavern over here. I've gone through, you can see the cobblestone. I've gone through and cleared a lot of it out. I keep this open up uh, because if there's somebody really good, you know, somebody walking by with a gold chest plate, I will knock a hole in this wall and go get him. But for the most part, I leave them alone. I am around lava quite a bit, so I do keep this unlimited water source here. Uh, and as you can see, this one ends very quickly. That's because there's a giant lava pool right on the other side of that. Uh, this one goes down quite a ways, uh, but it also hits a lava flue. 
So, this is my incinerator. I think you were here for that. I am mining quite a bit of cobblestone um, and a lot of the decorative stones. Now, I did come raid this chest for my recent build. Um, oh, God, I keep throwing that. What is what is up with that? So, this one winds up in a lava flow. This one does too. So does this one. Now let's see if we have anything in here worth keeping. Nope. Let's see if I left anything from the last time. I, I'm pretty bad about leaving stuff in my furnaces like that. And then I keep a chest right here. What's in? What goes in this chest is something that I want to take up when I leave, or that I might need while I'm down here. Uh, I'm I'm not going to pick up the dirt. In fact, I'm probably going to put the coal in the uh, the sticks down because I have quite a few torches right now. Let's let's put this up. I'll take it back up when I go. I am going to need my shovel. I don't need my axe while I'm working in the mine. Uh, and we definitely don't need uh, the rotted flesh. So I'm going to keep this just in case uh, a googly comes up. Here, let's put this in the incinerator. Throw it. There we go. A couple of them. Okay, so let's, um, let's go mining. Now I've got, uh, as you can see, a number of channels cut both sides up and down all the way all the way through and that one opens up into a lava pool where I've been mining some obsidian I do close this one off uh, this was also a lava pool and I am mining some obsidian here oh I didn't get my here let me get my bucket of water you really don't want to be walking around down here without a bucket of water uh, is it this one? Oh, good grief where did I put my bucket of water Alright, let's make one. I need a little piece of iron. One, two, three. I must, oh, you know what I remember now. I carried it up when I was working on the cow farm. Uh, I needed a number of buckets of water. So I made a whole bunch of buckets. I carried everything I had up there. Yeah, we we got to keep with when <laughs> you're working with lava, you got to keep a bucket of lava ha or a bucket of water handy. Okay, so let's uh, let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Now, I, I do have an unlimited water source here, and I will tell you, I've got some active lava in here, and I I think it was because I did it wrong when I began mining it. Uh, it wasn't. It was still flowing. I you're supposed to you know fix it so that lava doesn't flow if you put water on non-flowing lava it will turn it all to obsidian see how this is well let's 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 see if that's true uh, let's, let's go mine this one and see if let's see if it's still yeah it is still lava Well, it's turned it to cobblestone. So, again, I, I'm having to be really careful in here because I've got, I did it wrong when I when I initially did it, and so I've I've got to watch what I do so that I don't wind up uh, stepping off in lava. Uh, we go down quite a ways there, and as you can see, you know, I've been busy down here. I've pulled a lot of stuff out, a lot of iron, a lot of diamonds. Uh, I've been spinning those on my enchants, uh, using it to uh, make my tools better. Let's see, where did we get to? Are we, we're getting close. Now this one goes, here, let me run down here and show you. This one goes down here to a chamber uh, where there are some resources, but the resources are right over lava. And it's just, it's a really big pool. I think this is the channel. Please be the channel. And I, I think I'm too low. Yeah, see, I dug through right there, and I wound up get hitting lava, and I have um, I have quite a bit of, I've turned all this into obsidian. I've got a big chamber over here. Uh, I've got some additional lava down here. Let's see. Let's do this. And see, this stuff is... Uh, you know, this is easy pickings right here, but it's right over lava, and uh, you, you genuinely want to be careful. And I, I'm not feeling really confident when it comes to 
working around or on lava. Um, I, I'm watching some videos, I'm learning, but you know, this is a big thing of lava, and um, I just, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should go under it, uh, go over it. I, I don't know. So for right now, I've got all the obsidian I need. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, let's get back down here where we were. Okay, now I have a couple. Was I, I came out of here, right? Got a little labyrinth out here. So three torches to me means there is death on the other side of that wall. There is flowing lava. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm too low. I, I came over a few blocks and tried again, still got into some lava. Uh, came over a few, and I got through here. So I, I've got a little back channel here. So I went down. I went over. Came across. Actually, this little area right here was full of diamonds. This area here was full of coal and redstone. So I am just punching through, doing doing the mining uh, thing as as well as I can, and I'm catching uh, all kinds of good stuff over here. And see, here's a perfect example. There's iron, but how's the best way to get to that? I'm I don't know. Is it is it put my cobblestone out here and walk across this and you know put cobblestone underneath it so I can catch it because it you know if it falls into the lava it's gone. So. That's it. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I made it down to here. Looks like uh, this is as far as I got. Now I, I normally like to, you know, I like to mine in a very uh, methodical way. I am a Virgo, and I do like, you know, opening up these strips, these channels, that are, you know, three blocks in between them. Here, here's a perfect example. So here's a strip, then there's one, two, three blocks, and then another strip. So that one goes all the way back out to the chamber, so I would do it again. One, two, three, start right here, and just go walk down to the other end. Let's just go get what we can get. And I go in four or five blocks, put a torch in, and I do tend to turn around and look behind me because I've walked over, you know, some really good stuff in the dark, and if you just keep going uh, and you don't look behind you, you, you may have missed something in the dark. So I like to come down a little bit more, put my light up again, and then come back and get what, you know, what's out here. Uh, and I do that because I like light on either side of me. Uh, that way, you know, if the googlies are coming, I've got a little bit of a warning. I, I can see what's happening. I can, you know, fight them off. So let's go get some of this. Rise raise my enchantment level up a little bit because uh, mama wants a new efficiency on her pick <laughs> on her axe I've got a lot of wood to go mine and uh, an efficiency pick will help me do that now you know what um, I, I have a rule we're so close to where we are I I probably am not gonna fill this in I will go ahead and just put a torch in here if we were not close to the end, this was in the middle, I would count over my four blocks. I would not fill in that fourth, but I would fill in this other stuff because I, you know, I don't want stuff to be able to come in and they can spawn in a two block high area. Um, so this, I would just open all up and put one torch in here and leave it. This allows me to move quickly between the channels, as it were. But if it's just one or two on the side, I will fill them in because uh, I don't want the googlies to be able to um, spawn in in there. Just makes it safer to be down in the mine. Okay, so that's it. This is my method. This is me running up and down uh, under the mountain, just collecting materials, taking it back to base. Uh, one thing I do is. Um, you know, I, I go offload into that small chest uh, every so often, and then when I've got enough to make a trip up, or I'm out of food, or I, you know, need something from the home base, I will head back and uh, take all my goodies upstairs. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to end the video there. In the video here, I should say. Let me get back down here to uh, to the mining base. 
Now I've got a bat. <laughs> I'm gonna name it. It's my pet bat. He stays down here all the time. Uh, he spends uh, a lot of time in every time I come through. Ooh, see this torch? This means I found diamonds on this row um, down here. So I I like marking them. I like being able to come back later and, and let myself know, you know, where it was. So I'm gonna make sure that I dig this channel through. In fact, I may dig two just to make sure I don't miss any diamonds that might be in this area. That's just the way we roll. We like our diamonds, don't we? Okay, so this is, of course, uh, almost a non-geeky episode. Uh, we didn't do anything really uh, geeky or amazing. So this is a, a, a non-geeky episode from the Geeky Minecrafter. <laughs> uh, doing a little housekeeping, doing a little mining. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, take a moment, hit that like button. It doesn't take but a second, but it really helps me and my channel out. Um, and if you want to share it, if you've got some friends that are interested in, you know, getting started in Minecraft, let them know uh, where my channel is and, and have them come subscribe. This is the Geeky Minecrafter signing off, you guys. Happy mining!